you guys want to to work out and do grace, that's awesome. Um, that sucks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> told her to come back when she's 40. From that, I thought I'd like this, we raised 4,000 dollars to give it to her to ask me to help others. So in nine years, we had funded over 52,000 breast cancer screening services because one person said help others. And, and this year we're launching a hotline, so we'll have a national line, uh, a national breast health support line that anybody can use and we'll navigate it to a local resource. Um, in 2016, my sister was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. So why, when I was about to hit the time over and say, hey, Ceci, I did enough, right? I've helped enough people. Can I like go back to coaching <laughs> and running the gym? Uh, breast cancer came and knocked back on my door. And then I started looking at what we were doing after breast cancer. Like, I was, I was so concerned about making sure women were getting screened, and we, we did that. We created all this awareness and awareness and support for these people. And then once my sister got diagnosed with such an aggressive stage of breast cancer, I was like, man, what do we do once they get diagnosed? And I was like, they need to go right into the prostate gym. That should be the first place that I'll probably send them. Because having this has helped save my life. And I don't have cancer, right? So what happens if I have cancer and if I can come into a community like this, have the support, have you guys yelling at me, and suck every day, and then want to come back? Like, that's... That, that's what I want to get. I should think we should be a part, we should be a part of the, the treatment plan. Um, and so we launched our resources after diagnosis. We educate coaches on how to handle fitness after diagnosis. We have 22 education modules that we have for coaches like Mark. Um, and then we have a support group of 179 women in the CrossFit space that are all breast cancer survivors are going through treatment. And then we have a one-year scholarship that we pay for the their CrossFit scholar their membership for a year. Um, so. Truly really grateful. Sometimes for breast cancer, but if it hit me so hard, I probably wouldn't be doing this work. Um, my sister took her last breath on April 23rd this year, and uh, rocked my world. It's changed my life. It's changed my lens on my work and how I approach our work. How I look at color me. I look at October, October. Um, and I remember, I'll share this with you because it's really, the next week after my sister passed, I had to go into work, and I was looking at our social media lineup, and uh, the post was celebrating uh, National Survive Day. And for the first time, I felt like I felt true hate. And I wanted, didn't want to post it, I didn't want to recognize it. I was like, it should be a black post, just black, for the women that aren't surviving. And so uh, they were like, how about you take some time off work? Because um, <laughs> there are 3.1 million survivors in this country. And that gives us a little bit of hope. And that day, I just had to make a decision. I could hate breast cancer, or I could pick love. So I pick love, and I love breast cancer. I love what it's brought me to my life. I love the lens it's given me in my life. And, uh, and I'm grateful for communities like this that have supported me and healing from my loss. Um, but we have a really special uh, presentation for you guys. Uh, another reason for us coming is you guys officially have earned your 100K flag for your fundraising.
Woodford. Woodford's the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today for a very special occasion, and that's to accept a check uh, from the Black Hearts CrossFit uh, operation here in Port Reading off Key Court, an amazing place. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but they had a fundraiser for an organization called, you say it. Farbells for Boots. Okay, it's better off coming from you. Uh, I'm going to introduce a bunch of people here to my right. is Officer Jesse. To the far left is Officer Jeff. We have Kevin. Uh, we have Z. We have Mark, and we have Joel Slosberg, who's our uh, community affairs officer. Joel, let me turn it over to you first. Explain what's going on here in your involvement. Um, the police department, we decided to do a fundraiser. Um, we made pins um, that kind of look like this here, and all the officers donated $30. 15 went towards breast cancer um, for barbells for boobs, and the other 15 are going to men's health. Oh, okay, very good, very good. And Mark, this is my first time, my first time here. It's an amazing place. Tell me first about your operation here. Go, take the microphone. You got a oh, couple right. of minutes. No now worries. To tell all about sure, the place. sure. Uh, Black Hearts CrossFit. We started in 2010, actually. Um, so we've been going for quite a while. We've been working with Z and Barbells for Boobs for six, 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 six I think six, six years, years now. Yeah, uh, seventh year participating, but we actually um, this is our sixth fundraiser here at our facility, and. Uh, yeah, I'll hand it over. Hundred grand. And so you hundred grand, with yes. National organization. I'm the founder. Oh, the founder. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. Tell us about it. <laughs> I'm the founder of Barbells for Boobs, the CEO as well. Um, started in 2009 after my friend was uh, denied screening services because they told her she was too young. She was 26, and they recommended a mammography at age 40. Um, and so we've launched programs to provide uh, quality breast health, care, like improve the standard of care. So you know, treat a person like a person. Um, regardless of your age, gender, or sex, we, we navigate and fund and support resources for breast cancer screenings across the country, as well as uh, resources after diagnosis through fitness uh, once a woman is diagnosed. So um, very thankful sure. for the support. And, and Mark, why did you get connected? How did you get connected with this organization? One of my friends had a gym in South Jersey, and they were running it at first. And uh, we just went down there, participated, you know, just to have a good time. And we ended up doing our own the next year. Yeah. All right, tell me about yeah. uh, Black Hearts CrossFit. Tell me about your hours, your, your, what do you do here? Yeah, so we're open seven days a week. Um, Monday through Friday, we do 6.30, 7.30 in the morning classes, and then we have open gym uh, where you just come and kind of do your own programming if you want or personal training. We offer that here as well. We do uh, night classes. We do 4.30, uh, 5.45, and 7 at night, and then we have a kids program too that we do Mondays and Fridays at 4 p.m. All right, very good. And yep. you're located on Key Court. If you don't know how to get here, you come down Port Reading Avenue. Yep. You're kind of behind island transportation. I took yes. you a while to find it. You got, yeah, you're yeah, it happens. Here with no one, you know, no one knows. A little bit, are. little hidden gem in the back here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, yep. great. And Joelle, what else you want to talk about with this organization? Um, if anybody is interested, we also have some more pins for sale over there. Um, if anybody would like to buy one, and I just want to say to anyone who is dealing with breast cancer who has gone through it, um, you know, we have. We have your back. We want to support you. That's why we did this. Um, I think it's a great cause, and I have seen so many people get being diagnosed lately. So um, I'm glad we raised the money that we raised. Great. And Bill, Kev, anybody else want to say anything? You're all good. All right. So once again, it's uh, <laughs> Black Hearts CrossFit off Key Court in Port Reading, and thank you very much for this amazing fundraiser working with the Woodbridge Police Department, best police force in the state of New Jersey, as I always say. And when they do something like this for people in need, it just proves what I say all the time: the best around. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Black Hearts CrossFit. Thanks for watching.